Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to convert between meters and millimeters. So, meters to millimeters and millimeters to meters. Now, one thing to keep in mind, one meter equals 1,000 millimeters. We need this information in order to convert. Let's jump into number one where we have five meters equals how many millimeters? Well, remember, each meter equals 1,000 millimeters. So we have 1,000 millimeters, 1,000 millimeters, 1,000 millimeters, five times. In other words, five times 1,000. And that gives us 5,000. So five meters equals 5,000 millimeters. When we go from meters to millimeters, we multiply by 1,000. Let's move on to number two, where we have 36 and 2 tenths, or 36.2 meters, equals how many millimeters? So meters to millimeters, we multiply by 1,000. Now this number isn't as easy to work with as the number in number one, that five meters. We were able to use mental math for number one. For number two, we still need to multiply by 1,000. When we multiply something by 1,000, we can actually make this really simple. All we need to do is move the decimal three times to the right. When we multiply something by 1,000, each digit of that number shifts three places to the left. The value of the number increases by 1,000. In other words, we multiplied by 1,000. So technically, the digits shift and increase in value, but let's make this simple and move that decimal in order to push all of our digits to the correct place, so to speak. So again, move the decimal three times to the right to multiply by 1,000. So I'm going to rewrite 36 and 2 tenths and then move that decimal once, twice, and three times to the right. Fill these gaps with zeros and that's our answer. So we have 36,200. So 36.2 meters equals 36,200 millimeters. Let's jump back up to number one real quick and see if moving the decimal gets the same answer for that one as well. Let's see if we still get 5,000. So let me rewrite five and the decimal comes after a whole number and we'll move it once, twice, and three times to the right. Fill these gaps with zeros and we get 5,000 that way as well. So to recap, when we go from meters to millimeters, we multiply by 1,000. And we can do that by moving the decimal three times to the right. Let's move on to number three, where we have 14,000 millimeters equals how many meters? Well, each group of 1,000 millimeters equals a meter. So we need to see how many groups of 1,000 are in 14,000. In other words, 14,000 divided by 1,000. That's going to be 14. So 14,000 millimeters equals 14 meters. So when we go from millimeters to meters, we divide by 1,000. Let's move on to number four, where we have 38,742 and 9 tenths, or 38,742.9 millimeters equals how many meters? So we need to divide by 1,000 here because we're going from millimeters to meters. Now this number is not as easy to work with as number three. We were able to use mental math for number three. So what we can do here in order to divide by 1,000, we can actually move the decimal three times to the left. When we divide something by 1,000, we push each digit to the right three places. 
this will give us 1 1,000th the value of our original number. In other words, we are dividing by 1,000. So we can do this by moving that decimal three times to the left. So let me rewrite our number here. 38,742 and 9 tenths. So once, twice, and three times to the left, the decimal is going to be in between the eight and the seven. We get 38 and 7,429 ten thousandths. So 38,742.9 millimeters equals 38.7429 meters. So there you have it. There's how you convert between meters and millimeters. When we go from meters to millimeters, we multiply by 1,000. And we can do that by moving the decimal three times to the right. When we go from millimeters to meters, we divide by 1,000. And we can do that by moving the decimal three times to the left. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.